Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Andrew and Price, and we are presently looking at my very, very boring and unfilled in channel. And I have YouTube bugging me for add channel art, describe your channel, add a section, and add a channel trailer. Now, I'm kind of a creative guy, and I like whatever I do to be unique and kind of say something about myself, and so this type of stuff is really hard because I want to spend forever doing it, and the bottom line is I just don't have time to do it or motivation or, you know, something that I guess an idea to work with. And so I'm very slow to add these things. I know it's not a big deal, but it kind of bugs me that these things aren't filled in. Now, for other people, like uh, other Bartown people, I should say, uh, like Luigi, I've created cha channel uh, banners, and this was one that I created for him uh, about a month and a half ago. Uh, not perfect, but it's okay. I kind of like how things blend together, and as you can see on his channel, it looks pretty ni nice, right? You know, uh, not the greatest, but it definitely pops a bit. And earlier this week, I did one for Admiral Redstone. Because uh, I saw that he didn't have one. I'm like, dude, you need one. You're, like, really popular. And kind of like so some of it came out overall. It's okay. I mean, not my best work. But uh, I like how I got the uh, redstone kind of texture into the uh, actual uh, text. Um, and you can uh, see it up here. Again, not perfect, but it works. And I've been meaning to do one for the acro, Pat. I'm sorry, Pat. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But it's, again, one of those things where it's like, uh, I'm not totally sure where to go with it. With Luigi, it was pretty easy with the Minecraft and Nintendo Collide. And then, like, with this one, it was just, like, kind of Harry Potter-ish, I guess. Um, is kind of what I was going for. But, yeah, with Acrobat, uh, I had a couple ideas, and then I started playing with him, and, yeah. So, I apologize, Acrobat. Go, like, visit his channel and let him know that I'm sorry. Although he'll probably just yell at me on TeamSpeak. But whatever. So I've been thinking about doing a channel trailer. And I had an idea for one, which is for me the big thing. And so I started looking at uh, different model rigs to use in Maya. Now, if you've seen some of my videos in the past, you know that I've... Uh, I will turn down the sound on this. I did a 3D... Um, intro for my RGTG series, and this was done in Blender, uh, and like all the effects behind it are actually a rendered video on a um, cylindrical wall, and yeah, it's boring stuff. But uh, yeah, I, I kind of liked how it came out. It you know it was kind of unique, uh, and you know some of the editing I did afterwards in After Effects, which if you watched my last video, you know that I don't particularly like to work in, but can be very useful for certain things. But anyway, so I started looking at doing different character models, and uh, this was one put out by a guy by name Shrog2, or Shrog, and it's actually a pretty good model. It's for Ma Maya. The controls are kind of underdeveloped, but I don't think he ever completely finished it. But it does a pretty good job. But I, I wanted to do something that was more of a skit than, like, like you know, just a intro kind of video and so that meant doing voiceover and one of the issues with this particular type of model is that you can't do facial expressions very well just due to the nature of you know minecraft steve being a block uh you're very limited in the types of things and you can see he had to do something different with the uh, text string now for more human anatomically correct models uh, this one is one by done a video done by Ana, Animation Methods. There we go. I can get that out. Um, about doing lip syncing, and you can see, like with more human models, uh, you can do a lot more um, in terms of expressiveness, just because there's all these contours of your face and stuff that we naturally, as humans, because we see other human faces every day, um you know, that we identify and kind of key in on uh, for expressing certain emotions. And with uh, these types of models, you need to be able to have all these types of little controls. And part of the reason that they work, if I will skip to the right part, which I think is around 113, 
uh, you can see like on this model how it's not very flat and it it you know we have all these control surfaces around the edges of the uh, model that allow us to control different facial expressions and things like that and I kind of wanted to do something that was a hybrid between something like this and something more you know like what Shrog did where you you still get the Minecraft feel but it can be used for doing different types of uh, animation. So I loaded up a, you know Illustrator because that's one of the programs I looked at or that I use a lot. And um, so I started to play around with some different ideas because like your normal Minecraft model, they basically just create a cube, extrude or remove the, you know, the area for the mouth, extrude and remove the area for the eyes. Then they'll just pop in some eyes like that so that the guy can, you know, like look around. Whoop, whoop. Okay, well, within the box. You know, throw on some eyebrows. Whoa. Hey, he's surprised. Put some teeth into the mouth. And then, you know, just put in basically some blocks tacked for eyebrows or eyelids. There we go. There, he's a sneaky Minecrafter. And then they just uh, basically form an area around the mouth where the teeth can be seen through like this. And that's how most basic Minecraft models are created. The problem with this, of course, like I said before, is that it, you know, it's just a huge flat surface. There's not a lot of area to work with. And two, it becomes really difficult because you can only do so much in terms of of like with the mouth like what you're trying to communicate uh visually with the mouth again there's just lots of these different things that we cue in on just because we see uh mouths every day and we kind of know what they're supposed to look like for different types of expressions so i started to look at different ways of doing this and one thing i thought of well what if we just with for specifically the mouth thing um, what if we just made it so that the chin can move? So we have our basic like block shape like this. And then when he's talking, the uh, bottom of the chin would move down like that. And that would give us a little bit more control over our uh, surface. And it would allow us to, you know, be a bit more expressive uh, with just chin motions and things like that. And I was like, okay, well, that could be one way of solving the problem. Another thing I looked at uh, for a potential solution was just simply applying an animated texture on top of a face, something like this. So you could just basically take any sort of traditional 2D animated mouth and put it on the side of the face where, you know, the camera would be facing. And you could do a, have a little bit more expressive area and then you could always draw in some like uh, different areas on the face to express emotion or whatever but the other drawback to that is in 3d animation it is 3d so you can kind of you know you want to be able to have the control of being able to pan around and um, shoot the model from different angles and if you're looking at the model with any well not this one so much but like with this or the more traditional method if you're looking at them from the side all you're going to see is a block because you know the surface is intentionally designed to stay flat because that's what minecraft is it's flat blocks and you know there's been a lot of research done into you know how to portray emotions in 3d modeling because it is really difficult in fact i used to work in this field i should probably mention that and i know one thing that animators would say is human hands are really difficult because we see them all the time and so if you get a human hand wrong it just looks really off and there with all the meshing and how the layers blend it's really hard to do and like you just look at like normal emotions that you'll by the way this is just random images that I saw but there's just all these little nuances where it's whether it's a you know a furrowed brow or you know just little nuances in the eyes that can really make a huge difference. Now, a lot of it is eyebrows, and those you can obviously do in Minecraft, uh, as is. But there's just all these areas, like, you know, just with the chin and all of that, that are really, really hard to do. 
Um, and you'll see like uh, different images that I've found just uh, kind of showing, I guess, a uh, range of emotion within 3D models. And the other thing is with um, with doing voices, because the idea behind this channel trailer was to do something where I could do something of a skit. And so I wanted to do something where I could do more accurate uh, mouth control so that I could do lip syncing. Uh, because it's kind of hard to do that with just a flat face because, you know, like with a um, an R sound, your lips tend to pucker out some. And same with like the P and the O. And there's just all these little nuances to the face and the mouth that are really hard to capture um, using the uh, more traditional type of Minecraft model. Now, again, there's nothing wrong with those types of models. I'm not saying anything bad, but for my purposes, uh, or bad about them, but for my purposes, I wanted something that was a little bit more advanced. Like I said, more like that animations method or animation methods uh, model. And so, finally, we get to this point. Uh, <laughs> and, of course, Maya pops up in my face. Uh, this is the model that I've been working on. Uh, now, I know this is sacrilege to, like, desecrate Minecraft Steve. But, uh, essentially, I was trying to come up with something that I could work within um, the area that uh, I, I basically created a set where I'm finishing creating a set in uh, for th this, uh, I guess, channel trailer. Uh, yes, I know this is going overboard, but hey, I, that's what I do. I just, it was a project I found interesting, and so I've spent some time on it. So this was the, uh, <laughs> the model that I've been working on, and as you can see, for the most part, for the most part, it's more or less cubic. You know, if we were to hide the hair, you can see it started out as a solid block, uh, just like any of the other models. Um, and, you know, it, it's... I keep wondering if I should put ears on it, but whatever. Um, but you can see it obviously has, well, a few differences. Uh, more specifically, it has a chin. My goodness. <laughs> Are we going to all go crazy? But one of the benefits of this type of thing is that uh, we do have a lot more facial control, and that is in part due to how uh, I built the model. And if we'll just go to the front view, no, front view, there we go. Uh, this will make it a little bit easier. Um, you can see that we have our normal head, and obviously we can animate the eyes, and I'm actually pretty happy with how these came out. And we look left and right and up and down, and they do roll around. You can see the edges sometimes. They are uh, more cubic. Uh, again, trying to stay with that Minecraft kind of feel. Uh, that's why with the chin, it is... Oh, by the way, ignore the texture. The texture is just some crappy thing I threw on there just to get some idea for uh, facial dimensions and uh, shading. Uh, so this is obviously not a uh, final texture. But you can look around. Woo! Crazy eyes. There we go. And on top of that, we can control things like uh, the size of the iris, if we want to make it really big or really small. These are in here as well, as well as uh, these tools so that we can just, you know, if we want to make them look like, oh my God, what just happened? Uh, we have those controls right here. Now, I haven't finished rigging the face, and the reason that I have not attached a body to it yet is because... Basically, I want to do the facial animations and lip syncing first, and then I'll animate the body around it. It just seems to make sense to me to get those, because uh, this is actually the more complex thing to do. Uh, in terms of the body, I'd actually thought about doing some cloth, uh, like clothing, actually, but I think that will add to the render time and make it kind of, well long so I'm trying not to do that despite my desire for doing things overkill now I did go kind of simple on the eyelids but they do work so we can raise and lower the eyelids if we want uh, each of these are obviously independent for right and left eye and then we have a unified uh, control for the bottom eyelids and of course for the uh, top eyelids Oh, grab it. There we go. So, 
He can blink or whatever we want him to do. And it gives us a good bit of control. So if we want to do any like sort of silly face, we can do that. Because uh, this isn't something I'm taking seriously. It's something I'm just doing to have fun. Uh, for the head. Now, this is where it gets really cool. Uh, now, I ha again, I have not gotten around to doing all the uh, modifiers and the control surfaces for... Uh, deformation surfaces, I should say, uh, for around the mouth. Because the mouth right now is in this very silly static grin. Hey, I just haven't gotten around to doing it. But, 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 I have gotten around to rigging up the jaw and everything on a skeleton. And so, as you can see, we when we open, the mouth does more or less kind of move in a more realistic fashion. But it's... Uh, more or less, um, well, it's obviously exaggerated. It's more supposed to be more cartoony. Um, and that's fine. And so that's the top of the head. So if we want to make him laugh, wah ha 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 ha. Okay, that's a little bit too jerky. Wah ha 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 ha. Okay, I'm having problems doing that while talking. So we will not do that. Uh, the lower mouth, obviously, will animate independently. And we have a tongue in there. Ah. And you can do some things that you couldn't do before with a traditional uh, Minecraft model, like, I don't know, make us... Oh, and I've been invited to play Dota 2. Well, I'm ignoring you right now. So, but uh, yeah, we can make uh, Steve, you know, chew cud, I guess, if we want. Mmm, cud. So good. Mmm. Nom, nom, nom. Anyways, um... I've been working with this way too long, so trust me, I was excited when I got the, like, cud chewing uh, animation in there. Um, and then, of course, we have the eyebrows. I do want to uh, adjust in some, like, uh, emotion controls so that we can essentially uh, cause the eyebrows to deform, uh, like, more angled if we wanted to uh, for, like angry or something like that i don't know uh they, that's not really even close but basically angle the eyebrows more uh if we wanted to uh to make him look more angry and then same thing with like the corners of the mouth and then add some like wrinkles under the eyes and stuff like that just and around the mouth uh again designed to translate emotion to the user and then I also added in this control, which is essentially a unified controller for the mouth and the top of the head for most uh, mouth motions. Let's move back to the control key or to the move mode. There we go. And you can see now this is more, I guess, what you'd see in talking. Uh, it is not perfect right now. I have not had time to adjust it. And in fact, you see if I uh, go to extremes, there's deformation on um basically uh, the, the model isn't working properly when you go to that extreme uh so it's again something i've been working on but for most things it works pretty well and as you can see i've got built in uh the ability to tilt the head uh a little bit so if i want to do like you know more like of a i guess like a singing kind of motion that's what it makes me think of i can do that and you know something like yeah let's put it like right there and that's probably a little bit too open whatever I, I i'm sure when it gets to the lip syncing i will spend way too much like focusing on it but uh if we want to snap it back we can use this tool and you can see it works pretty well obviously there needs to be a lot of adjustments to it uh and obviously i have a lot more controls to add into the whole thing but overall, I'm pretty happy with how it's coming along. Um, so, yeah, basically that's it. I mean, I didn't really... I'm not releasing this model right now. And the main reason for that is because, well, it's not finished. Uh, I think it's coming along rather nicely. Uh, I'm probably going to keep it with the more kind of cubic look. Because, uh, I mean, these are actual uh, polygons everywhere. Uh, that are split up. I mean, even with the uh, rounding on the side, uh, you can see that, it, you know, everything's more angled. And I like that because that, that does more or less stick with the kind of more Minecraft-esque 
feel. Uh, obviously, having <laughs> rounded textures does kind of break with that somewhat. But I'm pretty happy with how it's coming out so far. And I think it'll be something where you'll see it and hopefully you'll recognize it as kind of a Minecraft thing, but you won't... Um, it, it'll maybe be a little bit different from what you've seen in a lot of, a lot of videos. Because I even know with like music videos, a lot of times uh, they will... Uh, like they'll try to have the character kind of sing along to it and they mime the mouth, but it's really hard to do uh, with just the standard character model. And so that's why I, I started working on something that was a little bit um, different because, yeah, this to me is more like a, a singing motion. Uh, I'm not totally happy with how the back of the head looks from up front, but I guess I'll keep it just to keep the... I don't want to... I'm trying not to round things too much, even though uh, I want to. Because, uh, again, it kind of... <laughs> it, it, if I get further away from this, I have a feeling it's going to get more and more like an actual model as opposed to like something that's supposed to be Minecraft. And this is supposed to be Minecraft. I'm trying to keep that with, again, having the kind of the blocky texture skin. Again, this is not a final texture, so please ignore it. Uh, if you think it looks horrible, it's just something there that's temporary. But anyways, uh, before I go on and on and on about this particular subject, uh, I will let you go. And I guess hopefully in the near future you'll see a final version of this. And I will, by the way, make sure whatever character rig I do end up coming up with, I will make sure to... Um, I guess, uh, post it for other people to use if they want. I will probably ta change the texture, though, simply because I don't want to see my character running around all over these different videos because people didn't figure out how to retexture it or didn't take the time to. Um, but anyways, so that's it for today. Um, I apologize about not uh, adding any uh, videos. Yeah, uh, uh, that's not good. Um, recently, but I've just you know, kind of been busy with other stuff and then, you know, kind of wanted to get this uh, up and working and uh, been spending a lot of time, <laughs> way too much time just playing around with it, trying to do different weird uh, facial animations and make sure that it can uh, do everything that I want it to do. So anyways, this is Andrew and Price. Uh, thank you for watching and saying, uh, I guess, oops, here, I was going to be slick about it. Good night and good gaming. Bye.